We're online. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Reportation Station. I am Jonathan Oilrig. Today, I'm here with Stefan Braille and Crockpot Scranton. Today, we are going to be talking about the very serious topic of the uh, recent actions of the Shenra Corporation in Bayeti, Africa. Now, the Shenra Corporation already has a pretty bad name among the geopolitical figures because of their recent actions shutting down um, hospitals in order to open up cardboard factories. Now, this obviously was very, very uh, poorly received among the wider geopolitical community. But the actions today are absolutely unexcusable, and they should be receiving a lot of kickback for it. Now, what has been going on is the Shenra Corporation has been opening fortresses among the silicon mines of Bayeti, Africa, and they've been just sitting on the roof of the fortress and just shooting at the Bayesians. Now, the reason this is so bad is because, well, for one, the Bayesians are going to die because they're being shot at, but they already have low supplies of goggles. So there's really nothing they can do to protect their eyes from these bullets. And there's been over a million reported blind Bayesians because they got their eyes shot out by these bullets. Now, this is obviously a really big issue, right? And the Shenra Corporation, they've just been mining all the silicon up and just, it's honestly quite unexcusable they could do this to Bayesians. So, uh, Mr. Uh, Crackpot, how do you feel about this issue? Yeah, Mr. Crackpot, how do you feel? <laughs> That's Mr. Screwed to you, Mr. Jonathan. All right, but if you if you check the charts right here, um, as you can see right here, a nation that a free society cannot help the many who are poor, but it cannot save those. All who right. Are rich. So how about you, Mr. Um, <laughs> Braille, Mr. Braille? Um. So actually, my opinion on this is very rancid, but. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but. Continue. Um, what an opinion. I'm but, very yeah, intrigued. It's very rancid, but so um. The Shenarians are like very cardboard reliant, so I feel mm -hmm. as if the Bietis are like. But if you check the charts here, it's not the. Okay, oh, Scranton. Me, are you really trying to cut me out? Okay, right Scranton. Now? He was he was are speaking. You... I'm sorry, I wasn't invited. So here. they're very cardboard. You, right here, the charts. Um, okay, you, gotta, just, you gotta check the charts. I'll let you, I'll let you talk about the charts. Let, let him talk about the charts. So if you check the charts, so right here you can see that the Bieshi they have been using the abundance of cardboard, but if you check here. It just the numbers don't line up. So explain that one. Oh, you. Why yeah. don't the numbers I line up? I can't explain that one. So the cardboard, I believe, in what, we, mom? And at <laughs> okay. So so <laughs> let me just okay. There we go. So this is at awkward. the um at so recently we've been noticing at the Scranton University that the Shenrars have been using their cardboard resources to uh, lace the silicon mines. In cardboard to hold up the um, walls so the Bietis can uh, mine more. Oh, oh my! And, wait, oh my! Oh my God! Yeah, wait. And they've also been fueling oh, their no, drills. No, no! Oh my! Oh my goodness! Yeah. Recent development. Just now, the last Shenrarian mine has been taken down by the Bieti. This was. When was this? <laughs> okay, and if you well the the Bayeti have been using a new technique called guerrilla warfare where they ride on the backs and they ride on the backs of gorillas wow, that's in order simply, to use their their large interested. scooping the gorillas large scooping claws are really good at mining through the fortress walls so they use that to dig into the fortresses and mine up all of the 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 Shenrarians. Oh. So that was actually a recent development. This just happened right now. I just got news from so, this room. The thing with that is the mining of Shenrarians is actually technically not illegal due to self prohibitation oh. rehabilitation laws which allow yeah. which allow self habilitated Shenrarians to be mined without consent. <laughs> I actually that's interesting actually because According to martial law, which the Beatty are known to follow, spear hunting Shenrarians is actually the greatest sin. And who is is Jeff here? I thought Jeff was Wait, sick let's today. Wait, Crackpot. Do you have an opinion on this? Crackpot. So Sorry. do you know about the do you know about the martial law followed in uh, Beatty? Uh, I do not. Please inform me. Um, well, it's actually illegal to breathe or scream there. So it's actually very bad for the. They actually use Shen tubes that like. That, um, rebreathe. It's called. Yeah, it's called they're called rebreathers. And um. And how does that? How? Please. How, what are the inner workings of these rebreathers? 
Well, Actually, you see, they just use tubes for the most part, and then the tubes yeah, simply suck the oxygen from the air into the Shenrar's uh, lungs, but the Shenrar's are actually allergic to oxygen because they grew up on the moon. <laughs> so actually, quite right here. I'm too focused on the charts here. I wasn't actually like aware of the situation okay, going on. Okay, explain us the chart down, of... Down north yeah. over there. Explain us the chart of this. You want the charted? <laughs> yeah. Well, well, quite simply, the charts are actually quite meaningless. Because I was actually just okay, getting bad And my personal experience... I, I literally went there and I literally... No, no, I literally, I literally went there and I drank the Asian they, orange from the water. And it was so good, actually. So I would think I would know a little bit more than you okay, about the well, Bazzi. somehow in Cranium Town, there are some Bietis still alive and not mined. And those be oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's big. No, it, it can and be. It's not according to the trends. The chart is the just trends off are the not charts. always correct. There are outliers, and sometimes those outliers can be Bietis that have been unmined and perpetrated for different properties of the mine. Have track. you yourself checked my charts, bro? No, I've I'm actually not. been to the chart room where they create the charts, and I would know that those are actually that false charts. Excuse me, are you questioning my credibility? I'm yeah, I've been to the I've been to the okay, chart well, room and I saw your charting methods. We're almost out of time today. No, so. we're not. We oh. have like 15 more years to continue talking about the well, bad. Not, well, in in the next episode, years, this is so. Oh, this sorry, that, oh, that was seconds, not years. Oh my god, I'm so we're sorry. We're almost out of time uh, in up, this episode, finish up. so I would just like to say. Um, thank you to Crockpot and Jonathan. Thank you to our sponsors as well. Right. Thank you, uh, Squarespace, for the sponsor today. Uh, if you want to make your own website, use squarespace.com. Uh, create a code slash uh, Fortnite. And do so, not forget, if you have Amazon Prime, you get a free Twitch Prime subscription. Yeah, also, and you should use that these, on also, Ninja. Twitch.tv slash Crockpot. Screw it I've also been using this sick new Twitch wallet Twitch. called the Ridge Wallet, and it's really sleek and really epic. That's actually crazy. And, yeah, and if you really want to buy one, and they're just way more efficient than the current like one you have. So all right, if, that's a wrap. If and you want to so, buy one, um, you're gonna be um you're gonna be the, typing in at Ridge Wallets forward slash the Steph and uh, podcast is over. The podcast is over. Podcast Thank you is for ended. listening in and. Hopefully you'll be here next time to rehabilitate.